why do we always apologize when we haven't offered YouTube videos? Maybe because we make friends on YouTube and we miss them. I've missed you guys. Um, but this isn't really about YouTube or anything. This is just because I like making these videos. And I've missed making them. And I miss our interaction. It is Saturday morning. And I woke up before my alarm. Which, you know, is kind of a way to hurt my own feelings. I don't know why I do that to myself, but I set the alarm and I probably get up an hour before the alarm. So I don't know why I bothered to set an alarm. These are my first thoughts. This is pre-coffee. Might not be the smartest thing I've ever done. I have this new doodad. I'm using my iPad, which is not the new doodad, but I've got this tripod thing I can... Anyway, I have this mount for the iPad, and so now I can put the iPad on a, a, a tripod or put it anywhere I want. I can talk to you, because I like the iPad. I like the size of it for filming videos. I'm still working on getting a, an XLR adapter. There's a good one out there. I'm just trying to figure out if I really want it or not. So, eventually there might even be the compensational microphone again, and that would be nice. So there's all this new research out about gun ownership and children and that's all I'm going to say about that in most states in this country you can't own a gun you can't purchase a gun under the age of 18 but there are all these children who have guns or even special guns well guns made especially for children they come in designer colors like hot pink I was given my first gun when I was 12 I think my first BB gun when I was 10 my first 22 when I was 12 because you learn to hunt where I grew up and if you were big enough to walk through the woods and threaten to, you know, set things on fire, <laughs> then maybe we should put you to use. And that was once upon a time the ethos, right? You know, you're old enough to learn to hunt. you got to feed the family. And there are some families in this country who still live that way, meaning if they don't hunt, they don't eat. And I grew up with people like that. The rural poor, I get all that. Typically, however... These are not the families that suffer the horrible grief of a child dying of an accidental gunshot wound in the home. They have a very different relationship with their firearms. These are not the people you need to worry about. It's the parents who think that they can just buy a gun and stick it in the corner and never get trained on how to use it themselves, much less teach their children how dangerous it is. Your kids should be terrified of your guns. They should be utterly terrified of what happens if you discover that they have touched your gun. I don't know if it's spanking in your family. Maybe you don't spank at all, right? I get that. But maybe this is the one offense. If you touch this gun, I will spank you. Then I will take away your Game Boy. And when you turn 15, you don't get a learner's permit. You won't get to drive until you're 21. I <laughs> Do whatever it takes to instill serious fear in your kids. They should be terrified of the gun. Because, especially our little kids, they have no sense of what death is. They have no sense of mortality. I was terrified of my father's guns and what my father might do if he caught me unattended with his gun. He was terrified of what would happen. And he successfully transferred that fear to me. Um, so, anyway... Such a chipper thought for first thing in the morning, but that's where my mind is. There's an article I read recently, and it's just been plaguing me. Anyway, these are my first thoughts. Yeah. I'll see you guys around.